Hello, welcome to lesson 6 of Coding for Girls program. This lesson called Chameleon Summer Vacation uh, addresses the use of events, the use of events to move uh, sprites and also color sensing in Snap. As a previous programming experience, we expect students to be able to handle backgrounds and sprites and how to turn and move a sprite. General learning outcomes for this lesson relate to the event-based object movement, single or multiple color sensing, the management and use of logical expressions and Boolean values, and also game states. In terms of specific learning outcomes, students are expected to implement object movement with arrow cues using events and taking into account restrictions on that movement. Uh, students will also use a sensing color block uh, and uh, manage uh, it through the use of Boolean values. Uh, students will understand the concept of object state and object touching and uh, they will be able to differentiate between five different states and how to express those states with logical expressions. Uh, students will realize that the position of the object can be dynamically changed and use loops to check for the state of the object. And finally, students can check uh, through the if sentence if the current position of the object or state is in a certain position or uh, level. This uh, activity or lesson is expected to last for 45 minutes. Uh, it, students can do this as individual work or work in pairs or group work. Also combined with some face-to-face -face teaching by the teacher. Um, this uh, lesson uh, is uh, supported by active learning and collaborative learning, of course, when working in groups or in pairs and uh, follows the generic uh, problem-solving pedagogical approach. So, for this lesson 6, what we need is basically a background with different colors and a sprite representing the chameleon. Uh, you can, of course, ask your students to draw this, or you can just use the um, resources that we have already created, the alphabet scenario, uh, that students can also download uh, and use it. That's what we did. Uh, actually, when you download it, there are already some uh, part of code that has been developed. The idea is for students just to complete that code, but for this uh, demo, what we are going to do is start from scratch. So we are only using the resources, that is the um, background and the actual sprite, and you can see the sprite already has some costumes that will make our life easier when changing the color of the camellia. So the main purpose of this lesson is then we have this sprite, the chameleon, and when he moves into a different color area, then he should take the color of that area. So the first thing we should do then is to make our chameleon move so that they can uh, go from one color section to the next. So what we are going to do is uh, we check the keep that is pressed and for this exercise we are going to use the arrow buttons so up down left right and uh, make our um, chameleon move so uh, you know that we have a cartesian coordinate space that means two coordinates x and y um, so uh, when uh, we have the x we means we are dealing with these uh, coordinates space and when we mentioned y we are referring to the vertical coordinate space and uh, the reference point zero zero is here that means if I want the chameleon to move up then I have to change y by a certain amount for instance 10 points so if I click here you can see the chameleon is moving up so if I want him to move up, then I have to change Y by a positive amount. Now, there is a, a, a problem here, which is if I move to the top of the background, then uh, our chameleon is going to disappear. We don't want to eat that. So we are going to add this block, which says if it is on the edge, 
then it should bounce back. Okay, and this is going to prevent our chameleon to go out of the screen. So now we have done up. So let's duplicate this and choose the down arrow and change the amount by minus 10. So if I press the down key, he's going to move down. So just to recap, if we want to move him up, we have to change the Y coordinate by a positive amount. If we want him to move down, then we have to change the Y coordinate by a negative amount. And now we are going to do the same with the left arrow. But of course, uh, we want to change not the Y, but the X. So if we want to move him to the left, then we should have a negative amount. Remember the coordinate reference point is this one, which is a, stands for x0 and y0. Uh, here we want to do something extra, which is when I'm moving left, I want the chameleon to also point in that direction. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Okay, so now it's pointing in the right direction. So we are going now to duplicate this and do the same with uh, the right arrow. And of course, we should now correct. So when uh, I forgot to change here, so this is a positive amount. So now if I press the right button, is going on the right direction and on the right pointing to the right direction. So in this exercise we went to the sprite representing Camellia to change uh, the costume or the color according to the position and color of position that is standing in. So uh, for instance right now he's blue, So, but I want him to change into this sandy color if he's standing on this position. To do that we are going to do what is called color sensing, which uh, corresponds to this block. So if uh, the object is touching a certain color, we can either select color here or can go directly here. So if he's touching this, then we want him to change into that costume. And we can see that costume is this one, Orenzen. So um, let's, uh, how can we do this? We have to use the if condition to check if the chameleon is touching this color. So we are going to use a control and an if, and we move here. And what happens if we, this is true? If this is true, then what we have to do is to change the costume uh, to a certain color. And we have seen that we want to change into this one. So let's change into orange. So if we click, the, you see that this is true. So this condition is true. So it's switching to costume uh, chameleon orange. So let's uh, duplicate all of these. And I'll do the same for the other areas. So for instance, if he's touching blue, then he has to change, we can see, to this modern costume. Okay, so if uh, if I move him here, okay, if he's touching this, you can see that he is doing the change of costume. So let's duplicate this for the other color as well. And here the costume is this one. So let's move into Zealand. So we want to this to be done all the time. So we are, what we are going to do is to use the, the cycle or the loop, as you will prefer to call, uh, forever. So we'll do this check forever and whenever we do the clicking, this is going to happen. Okay, so this is going to be checked. So what we want to do now is to make this a little bit more complex. So uh, for instance, if the chameleon is an intermediate position between both, 
then uh, we want him to assume a mix color costume, which is the case here. So this means that he should be touching the blue, but also touching the sandy at the same time. So we have two expressions, one for touching this color, the blue, and another for touching the sandy color. And now, how do we get those two together? We are going to use a Boolean expression. A Boolean expression is an expression that returns a, a value of true or false, depending on the conditions that we use. What we are going to do is using the operators for a Boolean condition, and we are going to use the AND operator. So the end uh, um, is a logical expression that is only true if both operands are true. So this is, expression is only true if these and these are both true. Uh, otherwise, it's false. So we are going to use this in our if. So this if is only true if the chameleon is touching blue and sandy simultaneously. And now, when this happens, what we're going to do is to switch to another costume, which is the, this costume. So we are going to put here our block and add our block inside the forever cycle. It is to work, and you can see now that Whenever he is crossing a boundary, he takes both colors. So when it's only in a certain place. So it's not going to happen here because we have not created the code for this, but the code is, of course, the same. Um, and a suggestion for the teacher is also um, to make this more complex uh, in terms eventually of colors, but also uh, to also use the if else control condition. As a final remark, we can say that um, it's always important to motivate students by giving them a context for the game. Uh, so something like the chameleon went on a summer vacation, uh, as he likes to bathe in the sea, he enjoys relaxing at the beach, and when it's hot, he likes to go to the shelter of nearby trees. And because he's a chameleon, he changes his color according to his current background. So this can give a context for the students to design and develop their game. As you know, you can always have more information on the project website at www.codingforgirls.eu. And also for teachers, we have the complete activity in SNAP following this link. And students will be provided a guiding sheet and they have the half activity in SNAP as well. Enjoy!